Hi, in this video, we're going to have a closer look at how you can change the different settings of your HD12 module so that you can adjust the transmit power, channel, and so on. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. The HD12 is probably the easiest way to do wireless communication between your devices. If you're new to the HD12, I recommend you watch our Getting Started with HD12 video first. Now I'm going to connect the HD12 to an Arduino Uno and use the Arduino IDE serial monitor to communicate with the HD12. First, connect the Uno to your PC and upload the following sketch. As always, you'll find a link to the sketch in the description. Then connect your HD12 to the Uno. VCC goes to 5 volts, ground goes to ground, TX goes to pin 2 of the Arduino, RX goes to pin 3 of the Arduino, and set goes to ground. Okay, now we're ready to change the settings. Open up the serial monitor. Make sure that you selected the correct baud rate, 9600. Then type in AT in capital letters. The commands are case sensitive and press send. If everything is connected correctly, the HD12 should return OK. That means that you can send and receive communication with your module. Then try typing in AT plus RX. This will bring up all the current settings of the module. By default, it should be set to mode FU3 channel 1 at 9600 BPS baud rates. When changing your settings, you can always use the command AT plus default to set the module back to its default settings. Before you make any changes to the module, it's important to know that changes made on one module often requires the same changes to be made on the other module as well. If you change the baud rate or channel on one module, but not the other one, they just cannot communicate. Let's start with AT plus B. This command sets the UART or serial baud rate. So sending AT plus 1200 will set the baud rate to 1200 BPS, while AT plus 115 200 will set it to 115 200 BPS. The default baud rate is 9600. Note, when you change the baud rate, you must also change your code to match the baud rate. So if you're setting the baud rate to 4800, you must also use serial begin 4800. This is not the case when a module is in set mode, then you still must use 9600. AT plus C allows you to change the channel. You can choose any channel between 001 and 127, but it's recommended to stay below channel 100. So sending AT plus C100 sets the channel to 100, while AT001 sets it to 1. Note the extra zeros. You must always provide three digits. Then you can set the transmission mode by sending AT plus FU1, 2, 3, or 4. You can set the mode of the module. In general, mode 1 and 2 is for low power and lower range. FU3 is the default mode and can in theory achieve a range of 1 km. The FU4 mode can in theory reach 1.8 km. If you try sending AT plus FU4, you can see that the HG12 returns OK FU4, B1200. That's because it needs to change the baud rate in this mode to achieve its range. And you can also set the transmit power. AT plus P and a value between 1 and 8 allows you to set the dBm. That's the decibel in milliwatt. 1 is minus 1 dBm and 8 is 20 dBm. Note that you should always check if you're allowed to send a signal on a specific frequency with a specific power in your country. So if you send AT plus 5, we set the dBm to 11. If you remember from previously, I mentioned that AT plus RX will show you all the current settings of the module. If you only want to check one value, you can use AT plus RB to check the baud rate, or AT plus RC to check the channel, AT plus RF to see the transmission mode, 
and finally AT plus RP to see the transmit power. And finally you have the AT plus U, AT plus V and AT plus sleep commands. It's important to note that if you're changing the setup to achieve a better range with your HC12, you should start by replacing the spring antenna. If you'd like us to do a range or antenna test with the HC12, leave a like and a comment so that we can see that there's an interest for this topic. Also, remember to subscribe if you want more of our videos. Hope to see you next time.